What are the rules that were broken? Not um, taking the phone and sneaking it and texting at night. And so now, what are the consequences of this? I've got the first consequence. Is it going to suck a little bit? Yep. I would beat her butt. Why you gave two phones? I'm older than, and I only have an iPhone 7 Plus. You need to beat her butt. She can stop that crying. She better, better be glad she's not my child. She need her butt beat. Let me see. Where's my phone? I don't know what that's <laughs> Aloha, everybody. Uh, Aloha. 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 Hey, guys. We're the Ohana Adventure, and today we are doing a video about... Dun, dun, dun. Consequences of our actions and choices. No! So what's a consequence? Consequence is um, if you make a choice, it's what happens afterwards. You can have good consequences or bad consequences. Okay. Why do we have consequences in our family? To teach you lessons so that you know not to do it next time. That's a good explanation. It's a very good explanation. Because I don't think anybody, no, people just don't think of consequences anymore. They don't think they should have consequences. Mm -hmm. They don't think something should happen for doing this. They don't think, we were talking earlier about if you get pulled over and the officer says, put your hands up and you reach in to grab something and he shoots you, well, you need to be obedient. You need to listen. You need to do the right thing. You need to make correct choices. You need to listen to authority. And yes, police officers, this, that, the other, they are there to protect us. And this is going to be a hot little topic, I'm sure. So we need to talk about consequences. And Clay lately has been testing the limits and pushing boundaries and mm. trying to figure it out. So that last video, we started realizing before the video, but when the occasion happened, that we need to teach our children that there are consequences for their actions. We are starting this out with what had happened. Hmm. So we're gonna refresh if you guys are not knowing what had happened. So tell us what happened, Clay. So, I got my phone taken away. I snuck it. I was texting friends and stuff. And then I got found out. What are the rules that were broken? Not um, taking the phone and sneaking it and texting at night. So, not... Not big rules. Not huge rules that were broken. Nothing that is going to be crazy, except it starts with those little things. When you start to make mm -hmm. decisions to go contrary to rules, then it starts with that. It's just like anything else, like with drugs, right? You'll start by all of my buddies. <laughs> they would start, hey dude, let's just do this. No, guys, I'm not going to do that. Come on, man. Hey, Jace, now we're doing this. Dude, you should try this. No, 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 no. And they went all the way downhill to where they, they were doing some crazy stuff. And they made some really bad choices. And they have a lot of consequences in their lives now that they're dealing with that I don't have because some awesome reason I did not do all those things that they did. So we are being a little bit intense because we care and if you can learn these lessons when you're younger you are so much better off when you're older mm -hmm. and i love i love all these comments um uh seriously there's no reason to cry every kid or teen has done this i find this so stupid the stricter you are with your kids they're gonna do this just to get back at you she's just a little girl let her enjoy life while she can it's summer um, <laughs> she was just letting her friends know why she can't go out way too strict so we are strict, but it's more so the consistent lying, the sneaking around. And yeah, she didn't sneak out of the house, but she was sneaking around. But that's, that's because it's at this age. The temptation right now is this. Mm -hmm. In two years, that's going to be the temptation. Two yeah. years later, it's going to be a greater temptation. So if you can learn to own yourself now, later, it was so much better. Yeah. Wait, Rach. Oh. This is definitely not the way to discipline your kids, you guys. Frowny emoji, frowny emoji. Wait, hashtag fake news. Hmm. No, not fake news. So we do, we have these consequences because we care. And just like you're not gonna let your three-year-old or two-year-old or even one-year-old run out in the street because, oh, they should learn their own consequences. No, 
you're gonna keep them safe. Die. They could die. And at this point, this might seem really dramatic and harsh for a lot of you, but we want to have a relationship where we we don't want to sneak around and we don't want to keep things from each other. And we're hoping that Clay has that too. So I am just curious why you did that. See, why you wanted to sneak and use the green phone when the black phones are out here, you could easily have used those to text. It was like a huge temptation. I wanted to like play games as well and... Okay. So play games and text and post music links and look at Instagram or whatever? Yeah. Yeah, okay. That makes more sense. That makes sense when you use that phone and not these phones. So it wasn't just I needed to text my friends. You wanted yeah. to do other things. Yeah. Okay. Can you see why we have rules? Yeah. Why? Because then when we're older we don't make stupid decisions and so then it's easier in life so we don't do drugs when we're older and other that stuff. Okay, that's pretty. So these are the extreme things though. I think like sometimes when we have rules, you're thinking, I'm not doing drugs, I'm not sneaking out, I'm not having sex, I'm not going out to see boys, but you do sneak around to get the phone. Why is that? Like instead of just saying, mom, can I play a game? Because I thought and kind of knew that you would say no because it was taken away for sure. And also because it was easier. Okay. I thought it was easier. At the so you wanted to do it just because you knew I, we would say no? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So now, what are the consequences of this? I've got the first consequence. Are you ready? No. How, what, if, <laughs> what, what if we let her give a consequence? No, Honest I answer. I Honest think. answer. Okay, well, first consequence. Yours and Raquel's bedroom is moving upstairs. And the boys are moving downstairs. That's a big one. That means they can't be sneaky in their room. Oh, because their bedroom's right next to ours. And this isn't permanent. This is for the next little while. So the boys will have the room downstairs. And this isn't just the phone. This is the staying up all night making videos, which is a productive business thing to do. But when we have rules about that, and the reason that was a bad choice was because for literally the next three days, they were grumpy. The two of you were so grumpy. That's the consequence, is your bedroom's upstairs, and why am I doing that? Because I need you girls to realize you need to get sleep. Because you girls need sleep right now at this age, yeah. especially as teenagers. And then the temptation will be gone to stay up late and do crazy That's stuff with right. your sister all night long. And because whenever there's arguing, you feel like nobody can hear you because you're downstairs and you get really loud and mean with arguing. Now, you're upstairs. It's nice and in the be middle excited of excited for this. And voila. So... We will do that. That's the consequence I have come up with for this. Whenever you leave the house, this is what you get to take with you. Oh, wait, wait. Hey. It's the... See, look. It's the Apple one. It is. It's, it's an, an iPhone. <laughs> it's an Apple. It's an Apple phone, not an iPhone. So, Clay, here's your Apple phone that you can use. <laughs> to text your friends. There you go. And talk to them as much as you want to. Before uh, 8.30 at night. Before 8.30 at so night. So, this phone, can you guys see it? Is it big enough? It's Wait, it's let's, so let's just compare. <laughs> Look, it's the mama phone. There's my phone. And the daddy phone. There's Clay's phone. So, Clay, <laughs> whenever you leave the house, you can use this phone. Your friends can text this phone. This phone gets plugged in right there. And we'll see and wait until you can get a smartphone again. Okay? If that happens. So, bedroom is now upstairs with your sister. And there's your little tiny phone. Okay. <laughs> so are we harsh? Are we cruel? Are we yes. we do this out of love? We're so mean. But we are harsh a little bit because we are strict. I went through a time when my parents trust me. I went through a time that they didn't. And I acted differently. And I know all of your comments. Strict parents make great liars and all this other stuff. But guess but... what? Guess what? Hmm. So when you're younger and we made this decision and like you like if you were to let it off and we kept making bad decisions. Once I'm older, like 17, 18, you'll be way more strict. Like, yes. You, and the consequences will be huge and that's like, right. even jail. I think that's, yes. that's such a good point, Clay. And I think if we can keep these ones and these rules, and by the time you hit 15, 16, 17, 18, it'll be easy to We'll keep be able to trust rules. each other really good. And we'll be like, hey, you wanna go somewhere for the weekend? Sure, because I trust you and you're awesome. If you keep doing these things, we're gonna be like, heck no. No. Remember what happened when you were 11? Yeah. You made bad choice? That was back in 1972. 
Okay, I have I one comment, and I want Clay to answer. Okay, I want to find some funny comments, too. I feel like it was kind of inappropriate to post this. It's a personal family problem, and you posted it with you and your daughter crying. What if her classmates these, see these personal kinds of videos she could get made fun of or talked about? What are your thoughts on this? I do know that a lot of my, a lot of people watch it, because I've gotten so many, like, comments at school. But I don't really care about them. Do you get embarrassed? Is this something we should not be doing on camera? No, I feel like it's good. Can it help other people? Yeah, for yeah. sure. <laughs> okay. So we actually, I know a lot commented that and we're super mean because we were crying and we were crying because it was an emotional time and Clay and I really are working on our relationship and bonding and doing better. And so, yeah, we were crying because it was personal problems, but we actually posted it because we feel like a lot of you can relate to this. If you can relate to this, I want to know. like. Do you have these these problems with your family or your parents or as a parent with your children? And do you talk about this? Like, is this something that you actually talk to or do you guys just avoid it? Like, you get a consequence and that's done. Or you get away with it and you don't even talk to your parents about these things. So, anyways, I know a lot of people were offended by us putting this video up, but we're not at all. We think parenting is a lost art because... People are just letting kids do whatever they want and now there is so many worse things going on right now because there are no consequences. Yeah. This is about consequences. Here's the consequence. Is it terrible? Is it spiteful, hateful? No. No. Does it have a point? Yes. We move their bedroom. She gets a teeny little non-smartphone and that's fine. My friends want to text her. That's awesome. That's right. We need she to know where you me. are. We can call you. It's all good. There we go. That's that. Any we last do thoughts? it because we love Clay. We really love Clay. And we oh, want her me? to grow up and have the most opportunities in the world. And if she gets in jail, if she if she does get pregnant young, like this is gonna just change her opportunities and the consequences that come along with it. And we want to give her the best future that she has. Yep. So there's consequences to your actions, every single one of them. And if you can learn young to make the better choice. You'll have awesome consequence after awesome consequence after awesome consequence. If you make the latter choice, if you make the worse off of whatever you're choosing, mm -hmm. it'll get worse and worse and worse and worse. So, make good choices. We love you guys. We really do. I love these comments. It, it made Rach and I think. It made Rach and yes, go over. It made, it, it made Rach and I. We went over. We actually read a lot of the comments. We didn't respond to. There's five thousand comments on that video. Very much. We responded to probably only like a hundred, but. We, we actually um, enjoyed the advice that everyone was giving and all the we don't interesting take comments it. of the hashtag no offense um, <laughs> comments, but, but we're learning. We're all learning and you know what? I think, I think we are okay with this. Are you okay with this, Clay? Yep. Is it going to suck a little bit? Yep. That's right. Her and Raquel get to move into a bunk. Are you going to make better choices? Yep. We'll see about that. The only thing I'm worried about is the boys' room. Yeah? Yeah. Small. So, no, stay tuned because we're going to film her switching out the bedrooms, probably today, and getting a new, smaller, cute bedroom. Yay! Yes. That's really, really, really blue. <laughs> and don't forget to watch us on Monday Night Live at 10 a.m. That is Monday morning, 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. We're going to go live again and have a special guest. Are we? A surprise special guest. Oh, because we don't know who it is yet. That's right. <laughs> Peace out. Bye, guys. Mahalo. Let me see. Where's my phone? I don't want to look at it. <laughs> you can make a phone time limit. Like, Clay could use her phone for two to three hours a day. And, yeah, I don't know what to say after. Um, here, I'm not going to say this person's name because they're very worried. I feel like they're making her feel worse than she should feel about the whole situation. And it's even worse to record the, all caps, entire thing of what happened that's a super personal thing and so disrespectful. Mm -hmm. It seems okay because it's a mistake, but when you are that hard on your kid when it's not like that type of a situation where that's needed, then you should keep that to yourself. It's already probably embarrassing to share that to everyone on YouTube to, he to her. And no hate, just wish this wouldn't feel so cruel as someone who's done similar. No we hate. Worked? Yeah, no hate. You're all idiots. You're you an suck idiot. Suck and you need to Hashtag die. Hashtag no hate. No offense. No a hate. Not or, hating. It's no, like you can say whatever no you offense. want and then say not hating.
Do you know what? Okay, Never hold mind. up. I love you guys, but no hate. You want advice? Well, here you go. You I are saw that. Overreacting one. over and over again, grounding. She was trying to tell her friends why she couldn't. They are good kids. Thank you. That's the no hate part. <laughs>